What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Kuroko no Basket. Today we're doing episodes 31 and 32. Very excited, especially with how last episode ended. Kuroko, put me in. I'm ready. Show the new drive. I'm ready for it. I know the audience and the show are ready for it. Their teammates are definitely ready for it. So with that being said, this episode is called I Surpassed You Long Ago. I'm curious who's going to be saying that to who. Um, don't forget if you guys want early access full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching up to four episodes or one week ahead all that is available on the patreon links are down below like always make sure you guys subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the dapper channel other than that let's hop right on into this uh, Kuroko no basket episodes 31 and 32 this one is called I surpassed you long ago let's do it one minute left right or is like a little bit of time left God damn, am I ready? The Midorima's the smart cookie. Smart cookie. All right, over to Junpei. Over to Kiyoshi. Doesn't really have a clear pass to Kuroko. Good screen. Midorima on Kuroko, but what? Right? Right? He's all, he never holds it. He always just whoo, push key, you know. But this is the first time he's ever actually grabbed it and held onto it for an extended period of time. You're like, is he going to pass it? What's he going to do? And he's gone and it's gone before you even know it we're behind you how the vanishing drive and then a great pass over to kiyoshi because we're outnumbering you in the paint now easy easy bucket i'm nervous but excited midorima couldn't even figure out what the what that was if he can't figure it out i can't figure it out that izuki with the uh rebound good shit takeo's rushing into him thinking he's gonna pass it or thinking he's driving Ooh, he looks like fucking ang the last airbender right now and he's gone and then a great pass oh and we know junpei money Ooh, great steal and now that we're starting to get some momentum like they were saying hit the pace of the game in our favor we're getting in their heads too they're gonna make some sloppy desperate mistakes just like that we're tied up Ooh, what it's been like 30 seconds and we're already tied up Hagami's is exhausted understandably jumping that much holy smokes yeah in terms of limits and where we're at right now i would give you guys the edge oh he's nearing his limit too final 10 minutes of the game oh my lord me either takeo and i have an outside perspective He was ready for it. Nope. Ooh. In the middle of the pass misdirection because they were not that focused on Kuroko right there. Great, great interception over to Kagami. Two defenders. Yeah, good shit. Slammed it through both of them. Kagami really is disgusting in a good in the great in the greatest way. An ever changing run and gun style. I love it. You say that though. Give us another season. Give us another season. Like next season, we'll, we'll be there. Ooh. That was a great pass from Takeo. And we know that's money. Ooh. 
I love the way they animated its trail right there. Damn, that was kind of a bar. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> He's going beyond plus ultra because of Kagami. I love how much inspire, like how they inspire each other to keep going further. That's the one thing I miss from Haikyuu. Don't get me wrong, the school chants in this are amazing, but I just love how in depth they went with the school chants in Haikyuu, you know? Let's go, 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 let's go, let's go, Dateko! Serene, Serene, Serene. I know people are getting invested. I would be too. If I was at this game, I'd be like, damn, this is a game right here. I love these little montages they do of, of uh, just the point gathering between this quarter. Otsubo said, I got this. Ooh, no, you don't. What? Ooh, I love those passes, like those quick passes that they do. Up by one, 30 seconds left. Down by one. Ooh, Ka or Kuroko. The great catch. Oh my god. You're not going anywhere, then I'll force my way through. Ooh! I love the way they animate that. <laughs> he literally looks like an airbending ghost. Kiyoshi the goat. He's hitting his limit too. Is he pushing beyond? I don't want him to get injured though. I'm afraid when Kiyoshi goes beyond, you know? Anyone else? Midorima's right there. Ironheart. Oh. No, try to get it in. What do you do? Yep, he flicked it in. Oh yeah, both teams are feeling the insane amount of pressure right now. I can't imagine physically how everyone's feeling right now. Beyond their limit, like they were talking about the amount of pressure that's on you right now. This is make or break. Gotta remember that. Gotta remember that at the end of the day. Shouts out Kuroko. A nice, solid, deep breath. Calm, cool, and collected. My man Kiyoshi needs to take these shots. Beautiful. Always got to do at least one spin beforehand. Remember Kageyama and Haikyuu? You would spin that ball like a hundred times. First one's going to go in. Second one's going to miss. Yup. Two seconds left and we're tied. Kiyoshi, I'm praying you win this game for us. The fateful shot. I literally, personally, could not imagine how much pressure's on him right now. Honestly, this could go either way and I wouldn't be surprised. I wonder if we're gonna see an overtime. Or if we're going to get the rebound, make it in. Or if Kiyoshi's just going to win us the game. Oh, they're making they're they're making this intense. Yep. That's what I expected. Everyone jumps up insanely. Look, I've never seen their coach get that enthusiastic before. Oh my god. This guy is disgusting. Come on. Oh my, look at how they're animating this. Everyone is giving it. This is the literal last second of the game and everyone is going full intensity. And they're cutting back like seven times. They're going so high, they're going to the heavens. If I wasn't watching one more right now, ooh, I'd be pissed. I would be pissed. All right, on to episode 32. This one is called Give Up. Let's do it. I am nervous. I am nervous. Oh, the timer went out. Before. I thought they just didn't want to show us, but we actually are going to overtime. They were deadlocked, middle of the air. 
when the buzzer ran out. They're like, whoa. We're tied. Yeah? I never really understood that in professional sports, but I've definitely seen in the NFL and football, like, they count ties. Like, you can be tied. You can be like, your record will be 7-2-1 and one or something like that, you know? I, obviously, he's going to blame himself and feel guilty like that, but we wouldn't have been where we're at without Kiyoshi. I think it's the exact opposite, yeah. High fives. Thank you, Junpei. No one's fault. This is a team game right here. True. Shouts out to the boys being the best teammates. Absolutely. These are the guys I would want as teammates. You know the you know for damn sure the crowd would love that game. I'd be standing ovation. Hold on. Uh oh my god. Kirisaki, which is Hanamiya's team, right? Hey shit on their opponents. And the other opponents is like really good too. I need to know how disrespectful and how dishonest this guy really is. They seem pretty nice, I won't lie. Not often we get to see Momoi in uh, Minorima. He does like that red bean, like soup in a can, whatever it is. Red bean juice, I don't know. Yeah. That is who I would be afraid of, if I'm honest with you. Yes, I've Take bike him everywhere. This is this is his ride. Heck yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely, sir. One way you fainted from all the cuteness and then Midorima won't sit in the back because that's because number two peed his physical injuries what damn i mean i would hate i mean i get what he's saying this is last chance he has a lot to prove for himself and his team especially because of how much he missed out on because of his injury but i would hate for him to destroy his body for something i want to say something like this i don't know man it's hard finally get the details on the injury they better not cut to school oh is the flashback this is junpei i just cannot picture him like that あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
少しでも上手くなって好きなことに没頭するそれが楽しむってことだろう I love bettering and improving myself on things I have a passion for, so I, com I completely agree with what he said. <laughs> oh, Kogane and Mitobe. Absolutely. This is how they all first met. So none of them were really friends besides Kogane and Mitobe before, and Izuki and uh, Hyuga. <laughs> really? She hates basketball? Uh, yeah. So Rico, Junpei, and Izuki knew each other from middle school basketball. I see. Kiyoshi's like, now's my chance. I gotta go. It won't be easy. Nothing good ever is. I get what he's saying, but also, I disagree somewhat, you know? Right? I'm a firm believer of the saying, hard work beats talent when talent forgets to work hard. <laughs> He'd be like, you're a stalker. Get away from me. Alright. Classic little challenge. Damn. Don't just attack a man's ego like that in pride. <laughs> He's like, now I don't care. Now I just want to prove something to you. Boom. Meanwhile, they're coming up with like flyers and other things for the club. Yoshi's getting one of their best members and their captain. Contemplating it from Rico as well. Junpei really could not get a single point on him. Ooh, give up on giving up. Keep working, my man. Come on. This episode is called Give Up, too. If you really hated it, I wouldn't say anything. But you can tell he has a passion for it. That is true. He knows the feeling Junpei is going through more than anyone. Man, Kiyoshi's the GOAT. I can't lie. He really is a fulcrum of our team. God damn, man. We just got the first part of the flashback. I need more! I need more! I want to know. Oh, God damn it. Oh, so I'm curious the details and the depths of Kiyoshi's injury. Because if we're going to a full multi episode flashback regarding how him and the rest of the squad met and how he started the formation of the team, after immediately saying this is my last chance, you know, the, uh, this is going to get deep and this is going to get serious. I know. I don't, I just feel so bad because I love this squad. I, I didn't realize how much they'd gone through, you know? I didn't realize that this is how they started. I love Kiyoshi's reasoning just for going to the school, no matter if they even have a basketball team or not. Just, you know, wanting to be close to the grandparents. Everyone else, how they joined, you know, it was Kogane, Mitsube, and then we got Izuki and Junpei. Rico, great, you know, I just, I just love that story so much. And Junpei's hair, I cannot get over it. He tied with Shutoku, so we're gonna finally settle things at the Winter Cup. I get huge like Nekoma Karasuno vibes from them. Like this, like don't don't get me wrong. Uh Toho, Kaijo, Kisei, Aomine, they're our rivals. But us and Shutoku have a special thing going, you know, back and forth. I love it. I love it so much. I need more of this flashback. I need more info. I, uh, I thought for sure I'd get all the answers in this episode. God, butt cheeks.
hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel check out all the other social medias instagram tiktok twitter all at dapper darius don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out